Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Edwin Zimba. I'm here to present my project proposal on assessment of crocodile predation in, on livestock in Shakawa for a period of from 2010 to 2014. My supervisor is uh, Mr. Mota. <coughs> here is my introduction. Men and wildlife have coexisted for a long time when the former was a hunter and a gatherer. Men viewed wildlife as an asset as it provided him with food and clothing. That was uh, the time when men's needs and aspirations were very basic. A limited amount of cultivated and livestock rearing uh, was practiced. Though damage caused by wildlife, sometimes, okay, men did not view this as a serious problem since wildlife was part of his uh, food supply. Uh, an increase in human population caused an increase in demand for land in Botswana, which resulted in human encroaching into wildlife areas to establish cattle posts uh, and crop farms. Thus, men began to compete directly and indirectly with the wild animals for uh, the things I have been saying. Most, most problem animals incidents occur pro pro dominantly in rural areas where well wildlife come in contact with people, preying on their livestock, damaging crops, causing loss of human lives. Shakawa is one of the areas that have a uh, predation cases caused by this particular predator, as well as uh, wild dogs and lions. However, uh, livestock attack by crocodiles in Okavango River is now a, a daily crisis to, to the whole community. Uh, the Nile crocodile is an African crocodile and the second largest uh, extant reptile in the world. Although capable of uh, living in saline environment, this species is rarely found in salty water, but occasionally inhabits uh, deltas and brackish lakes. The Nile crocodile is an opportunist apex predator, a very aggressive species of crocodile that is capable of attacking uh, almost anything within its range, even a uh, human beings. Uh, in Botswana, crocodile is among uh, wild animals that are compensated for when causing damage to human property. In order to promote harmony between farmers and predators, our government have decided to compensate farmers by paying at least half value of the property uh, preyed upon. It, uh, interestingly, where a farmer, uh, where a farmer uh, incurs loss of life uh, to predators, that is, there is no compensation paid since this is confined to the loss of livestock, even though that is not the case here. <coughs> Currently, there is no legislation uh, that bears people from staying or, and keeping livestock too close to the river. Such people are still entitled for, for the compensation for loss of their livestock to crocodiles should this happen. The predation of uh, livestock by Nile crocodile has now brought a serious conflicts, conflict between women and wildlife. This animal attack uh, attack a different spot in the river, especially where uh, the water is stagnant. Statement of the problem now. 
Crocodiles in Shakawe are said to be causing a, a lot of damage to livestock. Most farmers in this area use the river as a source of uh, water supply to their livestock. However, as you know that this uh, predator is an aquatic one and it prefers uh, that particular habitat, uh, it's now using uh, that advantage to attack a uh, the livestock, hence uh, our government end up uh, using a lot of money compensating uh, farmers for all the damages occurred. Uh, there are many complaints as well from farmers that DWNP uh, officers delay to attend to, to the reported cases and the exhibit end up being destroyed. Therefore, their uh, cases end up being rejected because the evidence will be uh, lagging. The report shall also uh, evaluate the number of rejected farmers, rejected cases in Shakawe Wildlife Office. Here are my objectives. Uh, to identify the livestock species which is mostly killed by this particular predator within Shakawe. To determine the crocodile damage compensated trend for 2010 and 2014 period. To determine the number of reported crocodile cases by year, <coughs> which means each year I will be determining that. Uh, <coughs> My last objective is to evaluate the perceptions of the farmers towards control of attendance by the DWNP. Uh, Mr. Nkape, I do appreciate the, 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 your assistance. <laughs> I have noticed that. Sir. <laughs> Justification. The study will help the government to see if compensation rates for crocodile damage on livestock can be reviewed. That is, uh, after the farmers have come up with some ideas, because sometimes as a, the government employees, we, we seem to forget that a, the farmers can come up with a good ideas, which might end up being very useful to, to, to the government. So this is a, why I'm, I, I'm taking out this thing. Farmers will have an opportunity to come up with good ideas that will help the department to formulate a, policies on how best they can deal with the problematic crocodiles. Uh, it will also help DWNP on the, to know on the length of time taken by wildlife officers to attend to uh, predator reported cases. The study, <coughs> the study will be conducted in Shakawe a village located in the northern corner of Botswana at the very northern entrance to the Okvango Delta. In particular, the area of a, the Delta, more commonly known as the Penhandra. Local, locals' livelihood depends on tourism, farming, as well as fishing. And their villages are built on a dry land where the river meanders past. Shakawe has a warm, steep climate with warm summers and uh, mild winters. It is surrounded by other small villages, small villages and some settlements which are located along the my study area. The people living in this area are mainly by Himambukushu, as well as the one I haven't uh, indicated here uh, Maherer. Baher, Baher. <laughs> On the northern side of the village, there is Okavango River, which provides water points for the livestock. Perhaps that is the reason that causes a lot of conflict uh, between farmers and wildlife. As per 2011 housing population census, 
the population of Shakawe and its uh, associ associated localities was 7,506, and Shakawe its itself in Ali, it has a population of 6,693. This is the map of my study area, ladies and gentlemen. Shakawe is somewhere there, it's somewhere here. So I will be concentrating uh, on this area. Uh, the cattle posts, all the cattle posts which are located along the, the river, close to the river. Uh, literature review. Livestock loss can have a severe economic impact on farmers, especially in poor farming regions on the Warad. That is by uh, Andelt. Lamakwa uh, and others, 2002, noted that women when life conflicts have been in existence for as long as women, women and when life Humans and wild animals have shared the same landscape and resources. The livestock loss, losses can have a severe economic impact on farmers, especially in poor farming regions of the world. According to Charles and uh, according to Charles Rose, Nile crocodile is an ambush predator and can wait for hours days and even weeks for a suitable moment to attack. They are quite, uh, they are, they are quite agile predators and wait for the opportunity for the prey item to come close within the range of attack. My method, methodology. They reach the, to achieve the, the above objectives, uh, two types of data will be collected. My primary data will be collected through the use of questionnaires. Uh, the questionnaires will be for the farmers. <coughs> the questionnaires will, with closed and open-ended questions, will be used. It will be designed in order to capture farmers' perception towards the problematic crocodiles, as well as the, cro the control attendance by the Shakawe officers, wildlife officers. The open-ended question will be included as they give the respondent the liberty to express himself freely, disclose his knowledge and ideas uh, central to his own view of the, the entire area. My secondary data concerning the reported uh, cases concerning the predator, this uh, the particular predator, uh, the amount of compensation rejected cases will be collected from records books at the wildlife office in Shaka in a form of reports of livestock predation by a crocodile from 2010 to 2014. The information concerning the number of uh, livestock farmers who are based within that particular area will be collected from uh, the veterinary office in Shakao. Uh, then, after collecting that uh, number, because currently I don't know uh, the exact number of the, the, the farmers who are there, then after collecting them, I will take the 30% uh, the of th that total number as my sam uh, the sample, uh, yes, 30% of total number of these farmers will be sampled randomly. Where, if it can happen that, uh, the total number of the farmers in that area are more than 100. That is when I'm going to use this 30%, which is written there. But if they are less than 100, definitely I'll have to make the total count. All the names of the farmers uh, provided by the veterinary officer shall be written on a piece of paper. Two minutes left. 
folded, placed and mixed in a box from which the required 30% will be picked randomly. The researcher shall then identify the selected farmers with the assistant uh, of the veterinary officers as well as wildlife officers in Shakawe. The questionnaire will be administered by the researcher. Those who cannot read and write, I'll be helping them. Where the selected names of, the, uh, of, uh, of such people is not found or not available, the second man in charge will be uh, interviewed. That is, mostly it is uh, the head boy. And I will target uh, people of the age over 80. Data analysis. Data collected will be analyzed with the aid of computer to describe the findings of the data. Table graphs and pie charts will be used to compile the respondent mm -hmm. through basic additions, conversions to describe the findings and results presenting the overall views of respondents from both farmers and DWP office. This is the schedule of my thing. So week one, self-introduction into the area and administering questionnaires. Week two, administering questionnaires and collection of data from farmers. Week three, collection of data from the DWNP office, punching and analyzing. Finally, compiling my report. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's the end of my presentation.